Marple Annex 4 Simplified The purpose of Marple Annex 4 is to prevent marine pollution caused by sewage discharge from ships into the sea. It sets standards and requirements for control of sewage discharge, installation of appropriate sewage systems on board, treatment and management of sewage, and protection of coastal and offshore waters from sewage-related contamination. 2. Applicability Ships of 400 tons gross tonnage and above. Ships of less than 400 tons gross tonnage, which are certified to carry more than 15 persons. Any ship whose GRT is not measured, but certified to carry more than 15 persons. What is sewage as per Marple Annex 4? Drainage and other wastes from any form of toilets, urinals, and WC scuppers. Drainage from medical premises, dispensaries, sick bay, etc., via wash basins, scuppers. Drainage from spaces containing living animals. Waste waters when mixed with the drainages, defined above. 3. Key documents and records to be carried on board. A. International Sewage Pollution Prevention, ISBP, Certificate. Issued to ships of 400 GT and above, or carrying more than 15 persons. Valid for 5 years. B. Sewage Record Book. Date, time of discharge, or accidental release. Position, latitude slash longitude. Volume and nature of discharge. Method of treatment, if any. C. Sewage Management Plan. Required for ships subject to the Annex 4. Describes procedures for collection, treatment, storage, and disposal of sewage. 4. Requirements for holding tanks. If a ship is not fitted with an approved sewage treatment plant, then it must be equipped with a holding tank. Must be of adequate capacity, depending on the number of persons on board and voyage duration. Should be constructed to prevent leakage or accidental discharge. Must be fitted with means to visually monitor the level, example, level indicator or gauge. Designed for discharge to shore reception facilities or through an approved treatment plant. 5. Standard Discharge Connection, SDC. Ships must have a standard discharge connection to discharge sewage to port reception facilities. The standard ensures compatibility across all ports. Specifications as per Annex 4 of Marple is listed below. 6. Discharge Regulations Sewage can only be discharged under the following conditions. The discharge of sewage into the sea is prohibited, except when the ship has an operation and approved sewage treatment plant or when the ship is discharging comminuted and disinfected sewage using an approved system at a distance of more than three nautical miles from the nearest land or sewage which is not comminuted or disinfected may be discharged at a distance of more than 12 nautical miles from the nearest land when the ship is en route and proceeding at not less than four knots. And the rate of discharge of untreated sewage shall be approved by the administration. The discharge of sewage from passenger ships within a special area is generally be prohibited under the regulations, except when the ship has an operation and approved sewage treatment plant which has been certified by the administration. The sewage treatment plant installed on a passenger ship intending to discharge sewage effluent in special areas should additionally meet the nitrogen and phosphorus removal standard when tested for its certificate of type approval by the administration. 7. Sewage Treatment Plant, STP an approved sewage treatment plant allows a ship to treat and discharge sewage in compliance with Marple. The components of the plant may include macerators slash grinders, aeration chambers, biological treatment units, settling tanks, disinfection chambers, example, UV or chlorine dosing, requirements, must be type approved as per IMO resolution MEPC.22764 should meet discharge standards for BOD, biochemical oxygen demand, TSS, total suspended solids, coliform bacteria, pH and chlorine content, if disinfection used. 8. Alarms and monitoring of STP. Sewage treatment systems must be equipped with alarm systems for high level in holding tank, malfunction in system operation, failure in disinfection system, example, Chlorine or UV. Control panels indicating status, normal, warning, alarm, and log of operational data. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe the channel. Please help us with your valuable feedback to improve the contents.